If you believe me, I will promise you, no matter how long I will not leave you. The man was talking to a cheetah under a tree, there was not much verbal communication between them, but the cheetah was like hearing the words, head followed by frequent nods. The cheetah's running speed is quite fast, it is considered one of the fastest animals on land, if it is encountered prey, its speed may be comparable to the speed of a train. In many cases, once the cheetah has set its eyes on the prey, it rarely escapes its view unless it gives up of its own accord. But the man we talked about today, although he was targeted by the cheetah, he did not sit back and wait for death, but became extremely close friends with the cheetah INA residence residence in South Africa. We were able to see Dolph sleeping quietly with the female cheetah, the picture did not have any sense of incongruity, but rather made people feel warm. It must be said that Dolph was definitely a cheetah lover. He used to be a member of the Animal Protection Association. For the communication with animals Dolph was quite knowledgeable. It was also because of his kindness and persistence that he made a close friend, a friend who had been with him for many years, the cheetah. It was important to know that their encounter was not a smooth one. The first time he saw the cheetah, Dolph did not give much care to this cheetah, his eyes always stayed on the whole cheetah group. He wanted to protect these lovely cheetahs. But it was after this encounter that they would later cherish each other. It took some time from the time Dolph moved to his job to the time he came into contact with this cheetah, who eventually became a volunteer responsible for the cheetah's life. After the time spent together, Dolph found the cheetah to be very interesting and grateful. After this time being together, the cheetah slowly dropped its guard and was willing to let its whole body and mind accept Dolph, since having this friend, Dolph's life had become colorful. Of course, it was also through getting along with Dolph that the cheetah gradually curbed its wild nature and became very cute and docile. If Dolph was resting, it would take the initiative to beg Dolph to take it to play. If Dolph was too tired, the cheetah would act as a friend lying quietly beside Dolph, listening to him chattering about his family and what was happening around him. The cheetah was quite enthusiastic and was willing to give hugs to Dolph and wanted to spend more time with him. The cheetah could often be seen in life lying unsuspectingly in Dolph's arms, cuddling and sleeping. The cheetah had long given itself to the man in front of it, it had completely trusted him, like an ordinary kitten that wanted to get Dolph's attention and wanted him to communicate with it more. When the sun was shining, Dolph would take the cheetah to lie under the tree together, and then you could see the picture of them snoozing. Whether Dolph trusted the cheetah or the cheetah was willing to get along with Dolph. In any case they were getting along very well at the moment and had long formed a tacit understanding with each other. When sleeping, the cheetah would sometimes take the initiative to act as Dolph's pillow, so he could sleep more comfortably. Dolph certainly understood the cheetah's love so much, so he accepted this frankly, although cheetahs may seem fierce, they are like an obedient cat when they are well behaved and understanding, and they are not seen to be associated with ferocity in any way. Many times as long as humans want to make friends with cheetahs, they can find out many of its secrets, which can also help them communicate with cheetahs, while also facilitating their communication with humans. Now Dolph has gone through immigration procedures in order to be able to spend a lot of time with the cheetah, and he wants to live with it in South Africa so that he would have time to get along with the whole cheetah family. Whether it's the cheetah or Dolph. They both start from not knowing each other at first, then get to know each other well, and then get into deeper contact later, they are willing to give and want more by knowing each other a little more so that the other can see itself clearly. It is this kind of open heart way that will let more things into their hearts. Just like this cougar named Mocha, it originally had a very bad fate, but after meeting the man, it had a new home. Mocha was a very poor cougar whose parents were killed by poachers shortly after it was born. The loss of its parents was an absolute shock to Mocha, and it couldn't believe that it had become an orphan after only a short time. Without a family to rely on. There were no brothers and sisters around and its future life was really very difficult. Mocha knew the future was tough, so it couldn't help but tear up. The man had a license as a feline trainer. The first time the man saw Mocha was when he was in the wilderness survival. 
At that time he was participating in a competition with other teammates and late at night he heard mochas purring. With a suspicion inside him, the man must find the source of the sound. Eventually it saw Mocha shivering in the corner. Realizing that Mocha needed help, the man decided to give the little cougar a new experience. Although it had lost its parents, it did not mean that in the future Mocha would continue to survive in a loveless environment. The man had previously taken a license to train feline handlers, so when he saw the cougar, his first thought was not of fear, but of how to pay attention to the little creature. After bringing the cougar home, Mocha appeared to be very uncomfortable with the environment, and its timid mentality did not change at all. In order for Mocha to have enough living space and let it gradually adapt to the environment, the man deliberately built a larger cabin for Mocha, while in their own garden to provide it with a special resting place. Considering the special nature of the cougar, the man found the local institution to report in advance, and the man also needed to give feedback to them about the living condition of Mocha. In order to ensure that Mocha could have a healthy living environment, the agency also sent professionals to explore it. And several times the results were very good, raising Mocha did not seem to be an easy task. In order to be able to take better care of Mocha, the man specially requested his supervisor so that he would be closer to his house and it would be more convenient for him to take care of Mocha. After a period of time together, Mocha already knew how to pamper the man, and their relationship had gradually been sublimated. Every time we saw Mocha pampering with the man, we felt that it was no longer a cougar but a large cat. Mocha gradually grew up, the man did not want to send Mocha to the wild, he liked to spend time with Mocha. For Mocha, it was even more reluctant to leave the house. Considering that Mocha was growing up, the man asked the local institution and finally confirmed that he could continue to adopt Mocha, and the man looked exceptionally happy. When he returned home, he told Mocha the good news, and although he still looked bewildered, he thought the news was worth celebrating. That night he also invited his best friends to come home with him to share the happy good news with them. After hearing the man's confession, the friends also expressed their understanding, after all, Mocha had been with the man for so long, it was normal to have a heart of reluctance. The Mocha could finally continue to live with the man, it seemed to be in the next few days gradually verified the idea in the mind. The Mocha may have understood the man's feelings. It also came to the man to take the initiative to kiss him to show its gratitude. The man felt that Mocha was like his own child, he was growing up with it. In the man's feeding, Mocha lived several years longer than the average wild cougar, it was also in Mocha's company. So that the man felt a special sense of accomplishment, alright, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments if you like. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. See you next time.